That's a big breath a lot of people forget to take throughout their day. So and it's one that many e-cigarette users appreciate. The introduction of e-cigarettes about five years ago has quickly become a booming industry among young adults and young professionals. I also work at the airport where I can't keep going past the TSA checkpoint. So in that instance, it works for me. If I'm in the car with my kids, it works for me. Reusable e-cigarettes retail for $40 on average, while disposables start at $8. Drip the e-liquid down the side of the tank, close the tank, push the button at the side of the pen, and begin. The battery in the pen heats and turns the solution into a vapor. But it's hard to measure that amount of smoke. It's really apples and oranges to figure out if a, if a person is getting more or less nicotine from any of these products than compared to a traditional cigarette. E-cigarettes and e-liquids are not FDA regulated, making it difficult to know the true potency of nicotine inside the solution. There's also the problem of not knowing how many puffs of an e-cigarette equals one regular cigarette. And having this constant access to an e-cigarette is a danger. Can you imagine if somebody walked around with a uh, half pint of booze wrapped around their neck and just every now and then took a hit off of it? We would be shocked by that. Those who oppose e-cigarettes say that vaping isn't much better for your health, but smoke and tobacco shops around the Boston area say that people have got it all wrong and that vaping is simply getting a bad name. They're not bad um, at all. There's a less nicotine dosage in all of them. Rajiv Chabria runs his own smoke and tobacco shop off Boylston Street in Boston. He says 45% of sales are e-cigarettes, and they are much safer than regular cigarettes. I look at it this way. Basically, one cigarette has anywhere from 2.6 to 3.5 nicotine level per cigarette. Um, so a bottle, like, say for instance, this whole bottle has 2.4 milligrams of actual nicotine. You're not going to get the dosage of each cigarette, so you're actually smoking less nicotine. So basically a cigarette is about 400 times worse than an actual liquid. E-liquids come in different flavors and levels of nicotine, beginning with solutions that contain no nicotine at all. But Wilson isn't buying into it. <clears throat> the goal here is to get uh, youth to start using these flavored cheap products in order for someday for them to be a regular cigarette smoker. I'm at a point where I'm mature enough to know the difference between smoking a cigarette and, and vaping. And that's coming from a bodybuilder. Anna Marie is careful about what she consumes, but is even an advocate for vaping. You look at cigarettes that has like thousands and thousands and thousands of chemicals, and then you move to this that has four compounds in it. Propylene glycol, vegetable glycerol, flavoring, and nicotine if you order the juice with nicotine. If you can recite to me all the chemicals in a cigarette, I will give you a million dollars right now, but you'll never be able to do it. They won't let you. People who vape will posit it this way. They'll say, well, would you rather have your kids smoke cigarettes or vape e-cigarettes? And they forget to bring out the third factor, which is I want them to do neither. And that is an ideal case. But from what we know, e-cigarettes isn't just a bunch of smoke and mirrors. I love it. For BUTV, I'm Alessandra Martinez.